Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about the cost function with respect to logistic regression. Okay, so let's start. We know that the hypothesis for logistic regression is given as h theta of x is equal to 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus theta transpose x, right? So, this is also called as sigmoid function, correct? Sigmoid. And how this looks? This looks something like this, right? So, passes the y axis at 0.5 and asymptotes at 1, right? So, this is 0.5. This is theta transpose x and this curve is h theta of x. So, this is how the hypothesis looks like. Now, coming to the cost function that we need to optimize with respect to classification task using logistic regression, we have to visit our cost function for linear regression. Okay. So, for linear regression, we have the cost function as 1 by 2m, right? Summation over all the training examples, difference between predicted and actual values, correct? So, this is our cost function for linear regression and this gives us a beautiful convex shape curve so that we can arrive at the global minimum while we optimize the theta values to minimize this particular cost, okay? But the problem with this cost function, if we blindly apply it to logistic regression, this y hat here, right? y hat of i is not theta transpose x. This is instead 1 by 1 plus e power minus theta transpose x, correct? So, this is our hypothesis with logistic regression. So, if we employ this particular linear regression cost function, this will look something like it may look something like this. Okay. So, this is our non convex shape. Non convex shape. And we also have many local minimums here, right? We may get stuck at this particular point while we are trying to optimize for our theta values, correct? It is a non convex shape, and also we have local minimums where we can get stuck correct so this is one of the main reason why we cannot use the cost function that we used for linear regression the same thing cannot be used for logistic regression okay now coming to logistic regression we have the cost function something like this so if actual value if actual value represented as y i is equal to 1 okay then the cost is minus log of h theta of x i. Okay. If actual value is 0, then the cost is minus log of 1 minus h theta of x i. Okay. Now, we will see one by one why we have the cost function like this. Okay. So, if you plot this minus log of h theta of x i, this will look something like this. Okay. So, this is 0, this is 1. Right. So, this is our minus log of h theta of x i. And on x axis, we have h theta of x i, the predicted values. Okay. So, if the actual value is 1 and in this uh, with respect to actual value 1 we can have two cases right case 1 if prediction is 1 right if prediction is 1 when actual value is 1 the cost is at this point right so it is nearly 0 correct by looking at this we can say it is nearly 0 but by substituting the values with this equation we will get minus log of predicted value is 1, correct? Minus log of 1, it will be 0. Logarithm of 1 is 0, correct? So, this will be fine. So, if the actual and predicted values both are same, then the cost should be minimum for us, right? There is no error. So, this, will, this is working fine with respect to prediction 1. So, what happens if the prediction is 0 
whereas the actual value is 1. So, in this case, if you substitute in this equation, it will be minus log of 0, correct? x theta of x is 0 in this case. So, this will give us some infinite number. If you want to visualize the same thing in this graph, so this is our prediction, prediction is 0, but actual value is 1, correct? So, prediction is somewhere here, right? And the loss is infinite, right? It shoots up. Instead of 0, it shoots up, correct? So, with respect to second case also, this is working fine. This particular stuff, if y of i is equal to 1, minus log of s theta of x i is working as expected, okay? Now, let us come to the second second part where our actual value is 0. The loss function is given by minus log of 1 minus h theta of x i. So, if you visualize this, this will look something like this. Okay. So, this is 0, this is 1 and this is our minus log of 1 minus h theta of x i. Okay. Now, in this part also, we can have two cases, right? So, case 1, if our prediction is 0, right? Our actual value is 0 and our hypothesis also predicts 0. Then if we substitute 0 here, it will be minus log of 1 minus 0. It will be minus log of 1, which will be 0. It will be 0, right? So, if you want to visualize in the graph, it is somewhere here, correct? Correct? This is hypothesis, right? So, if I just name this axis, this is our hypothesis. So, if our if our hypothesis is predicting 0 and actual value is also 0, then the cost is minimum. It is nearly equal to 0, right? So, this case, it is working as expected. In the second case, let us see case 2, which will be if the prediction is 1. If prediction is 1, but actual value is 0, then if you substitute this 1 in this equation, it will be minus log of 1 minus 1, right? It will be minus log of 0, which will be infinite value, correct? So, if you visualize this, the actual value is 0, but our prediction is 1. So, the cost will be lying somewhere here. It will shoot up. Earlier it was 0 when prediction match with the actual value, when prediction is not matching the actual value, it will shoot up. So, in a hypothetical case, if it predicts 1, when the actual value is 0, the cost will be infinite for us. So, this is working with this case as well as expected. Right? So, so, if I write it cleanly, the cost for the logistic regression algorithm will be, if y is equal to 1, that is, if actual value is 1, then the cost is given by minus log of h theta of x i. Okay. The if actual value is 0, then the cost is given by minus log of 1 minus h theta of x i. Okay. So, this is our cost function with respect to logistic regression. Now, we can combine both this cost into one particular equation. So, how we can do that? So, all I am doing here is minus y i log of h theta of x i minus 1 minus y i into log of 1 minus h theta of x i. And I am summing over i here, all the training examples. And I want the average of this cost function. So, I will take the average 1 by m. Okay. So, this is my new cost function. If I just take the minus sign outside, it will be minus 1 by m. Summation i is equal to 1 to m. Right. And then I will be left with yi log of h theta of x i, correct? It will be plus because I have taken the minus outside, plus 1 minus y i 
into log of 1 minus h theta of x i. Okay. So, this is our cost function for logistic regression. Now, we will see if these two cases were perfectly fine as we saw in this case here with the independent loss function. Okay. Now, if y i is equal to 1, that is if actual value is 1 and if the prediction is also 1, right, log of 1 will be 0 and 1 minus 1, it will be 0 and 0 multiplied by this value this complete term will get turned to 0, right. So, the cost will be 0 if prediction is 1, when actual is 1. When actual is 1 and prediction is 0, so what happens? So, the prediction is 0, correct. So, 0 into log of 0, so this will be 0, but here this term 1 minus 1, this is actual is 1, this is actual 1 correct. So, 1 into log of 0 that is infinite, log of 0 is infinite and this 1 minus 1 again this will again turn to 0. Okay. So, this condition is working fine when our actual value is 1 correct. So, if our actual value is 0 and prediction is 0, okay, what happens? When the actual value is 0, this particular term here, right, this will turn to 0, correct, because we are multiplying the actual value which is 0. Since it is 0, the only term we are left with is this particular part, correct. So, now if I substitute yi, that is actual value is 0, 1 minus 0, that is 1, into log of 1 minus, if my prediction is also 0, log of 1 minus 0. So, 1 into log of 1. 1 into 0 cost is 0. Okay. So, that is working fine. If our prediction is 1, when actual is 0, right. Anyway, this term will always be 0. When actual is 0, we will be left with only this term. So, we will have to work with this term again. So, now y is 0, 1 minus 0, it will be 1, 1 into log of 1 minus h theta of x is 1, right? Prediction is 1. So, this is 1 into log of 0, which will be infinite. So, this is working as expected when we have two separate loss functions with respect to actual values here, right? So, this is a separate loss function when we have actual value as 1 and actual value as 0. This is a simplified cost function combining both of these loss, losses together, okay? And this cost function, if you plot, this will give us a beautiful convex shape, which will be easy for us to arrive at the global minimum. And we can optimize the theta accordingly. Okay. And this cost, this cost function here is actually derived from principle of maximum likelihood. Okay. So, I do not have to go in depth with the derivation because we do not need to know how we derive how we derive this particular cost function, but it is somewhat important to understand what are log of odds. So, that I will be covering in my next video. So, if you guys have any questions with respect to this particular cost function of logistic regression, please reach out to me in comments. I will try to get back to with the answers. So that's it for this video, till we see in the next video, happy learning, bye bye.